Hey, I'm Mackenzie, also known as M to the Third on Instagram, Ravelry, and now YouTube. And yeah, I'm getting started today on an exciting knitting project. Um, so me and my friend Zoe are gonna be knitting the Ursa sweater. I'm really excited about it. Um, but so in my stash, I did not have a bulky yarn. I just don't really knit with bulky yarn very frequently. Um, so I thought it would be a fun opportunity to buy some like natural yarn and naturally dye it myself. So I got it here in this package right now. I am pretty excited about it. So there was a sale going on at Knit Picks and that's where I got my yarn. And one of the things I love about Jackie's pattern is that she has different price point options on her Ravelry info page, which I'll link below. And so, you know, I sort of browsed that and I saw that there was a sale at Knit Picks and I went ahead and bought some bulky yarn in a really nice natural gray color and I have it here to do a little unboxing, which I've never done before, but I'm excited about. <laughs> and I hope you are too, living vicariously through my discount yarn. Let's get going on this little unboxing. Um, I hope this is entertaining. Okay, here it is. Here's my little box. Here are my scissors. Um, I have cut yarn as I've opened a box before. I only did it one time. I had never done it before and it was a mess. So now I try and be super careful. Each skein is 100 grams and 200 yards, and because this is a crop sweater, I didn't need that much. So I got five, five skeins? One, two, three, four, five. Five skeins, and according to the yardage chart, that should be all I need. I think I got one skein extra, um, which really, for me, at my size, usually I have to get a lot more yarn for a sweater. So, it is a darker color. Um, you know, it's a gray, it's not a white, and I did that on purpose. I, I'm not sure what color I'm gonna be dyeing it yet, but luckily I have some time. Um, I have different steps of the process so I can decide on the color as I go, or I have some time to decide on the color. But I'm pretty excited about this. It feels nice, it's really soft. So. This, the process for naturally dyeing it is I will wash it first just with some like light pH neutral soap. Um, I'll rinse that out just a little bit and then I will mordant it, which is, it's slightly akin to bleaching hair, um, but it's just like opening up the fibers in the wool so that it will take the dye on better. Um, but it doesn't strip the color out of the wool like bleach does. Um, so I'll do that and then I will be able to get to dyeing and I'll probably consult with my friend Zoe a little bit about what color I should do, send her some options to help me pick. Um, and we'll see. I'm gonna try not to knit anything more mustard yellow <laughs> since I already have plenty of that. <laughs> Um, but maybe a purple, maybe a pink, I don't know, we'll see, but here it is, I'm very excited.
Monday and I just had a job interview and Maple and I are here where is she? <laughs> hanging out um, and I'm working on the yarn. I'm doing the next step of dyeing my yarn for the Ursa sweater. So it's back there in that pot. Um, I'm mordanting it with some um, alum and then we're gonna get on to the picking the color step. I think I, I think I know what I want to do. 